Hi, good day to you everyone. My name is Agnes Ko. I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm also a certified behavioral consultant and a yoga therapy teacher. Today, I'll be taking you into an understanding of managing your thoughts, mindset, anxiety, and stress. How thoughts can affect your emotions and how emotions can affect your anxiety and your stress level. By becoming more aware of your thoughts, you develop a skills on how to manage your psychological levels, control your emotions, reduce your anxiety, and further make peace with your inner self and stay calm. So we're just going to go into the three different aspects of your mindset, anxiety, and stress. Always remember, stress affects your fight and flight response and also it affects your health, your central nervous systems and every single part of your relationship and your lifestyle. So later, I'll be sharing with you the two different responses in your central nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic responses. So some of you who have been in my yoga classes, you have learned a lot on how to reduce your sympathetic systems in your body by doing some exercises to help you to go into that deep relaxation technique. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to just go straight into the three different aspects of your stress, your anxiety, as well as your thoughts. So we're going to start off with the thoughts first. So what thoughts you have in your mind is very important. Now thoughts are all collected from your frontal lobes and this is where all your thinking, all your thinking caps and everything is collected right from here. So that's why a lot of people develop an issues of migraines or headaches and how do we manage a positive thoughts and eliminate the negative thoughts. Yeah, so these are the important things that you need to set yourself up and intentionally work through it. Mindset. Your thoughts comes from your mindset. So if you have a positive mindset, you'll find that uh, you have a positive outcome. But what happens if you don't have a positive mindset? You know, you tend to have a negative thoughts. And these thoughts will lead to a lot of worry and fear. So you will worry about your upcoming exam, your upcoming appraisals, and maybe perhaps an interview that uh, is so important to you. And perhaps maybe sometimes uh, you might have an important event that is coming up. So there's a lot of what if, and there's a lot of uh, what happened, you know, which is um, not going to happen yet. So, but right inside your mind, you know, you are so worried and because of the worry aspect of it, it becomes very fearful. So that what ifs has a lot of worries in it. Yeah, so when you're worried about a lot of things, you know, you won't be able to eat well. And when you're not able to eat well, it affects uh, an upset stomach, you know, and uh, when your stomach is upset, it affects your digestive system. So when your digestive system is not functioning well, it affects the rest of your health issues. You know? Like for example, you know, some of the worries that cause you too much until you find that you're not able to sleep well. So when you're not able to sleep well, what happens? You, know, you won't be able to uh, focus and stay concentrated in your work. Your job is affected and uh, eventually you find that uh, you know you have a lot of uh, migraines and tension so it and again come back to health yeah and also you're not able, whenever you're not able to sleep well you start to toss and turn and you you tend to have an overthinking and that make things worse yeah so um and the next days you know when you go to work uh, you find that if you're not able to focus well, you know, it affects your emotions, you know, you get very uptight, you know, you get very short fuse when your colleagues ask you questions or whenever you face a challenges, you know, you tend to throw your temper around and that affects your emotions. So uh, when the emotions happen, you know, it affects your relationship, so your co-workers relationship and uh, that actually leads to a lot of stress. You know, so you don't want that, you know, so when stress happen, you know, what's going to happen to your body? You get high blood pressures, you know, uh, you get angry easily 
and when you are angry it affects your chest you know so because angles all happens at your chest area and you get tight chest you're not able to breathe well and it affects your respiratory systems it affects your circulatory systems uh, your entire endocrine system and finally it affects your body with that tight tension that chronic disease let's look at this picture now before you assess this picture do not over assess just look at the pictures and immediately tell yourself you know what kind of response after you have uh, look at the picture so what do you see from this pictures does this picture cause fear immediately you know or you know it's causing some eerie feelings you know some uncomfortable feeling response to you know how you feel you know but most of the time um, chances is all my students say that you know it's scary you know when they look at the pictures so scary is equivalent to fear you know so when fears uh, happen there's a fight and flight response in the body so over time when you continue to have this fight and flight response it's going to tax a lot on your adrenaline glands so your adrenaline glands is like a thermal touch you know so it just go up and it doesn't come down immediately it takes days and sometimes weeks to come down so if you continue to overexpose in that fear response uh, you're going to encounter a lot of going up and not coming down so this is where the stress level comes in so after looking at the pictures how do you feel so when that fear happened how do you respond to it yeah so normally i show this to my students and i will encourage my students to try to use touch so in our five senses you have one of uh, the five senses would be touch so you can raise your hands and then gently just rub into your arms you know so just gently sweep over your forearms you know and then over also at the back of your neck area then maybe your your legs you know so um, as long as you have something you know to rub on it you know your palms to rub on it you'll find that it helps you to cushion out your fear so this is one of the way you know in uh, before you go to bed it is good to just do a gentle light touch so following I'll be sharing with you on how to overcome your mindset you know through centering so centering is to really stay focused and bring that focus into just one connections and we encourage you to have the connections of breath yeah so breathing is very important because as you know that uh, you know fear will lead to anxiety and of course you know it constrict your chest muscles and this is where everything starts from here right so let's get started so applying the five senses so what are the five senses they are the touch smell hear see and taste so we've just applied your light touch earlier right so next we'll be moving into your smell so apply essential oil before you start your um, centering right so just uh, have one dab on your palm rub it i personally favor lemon glass because it really helps me to reconnect my breath actually so cup your palms and then gently close your eyes and breathe so it's always good to start off with something that uh, helps you to uh, calm down your mind calm down your nerves so add two drops of essential oil in your diffuser and there you are you're ready to go into the next state of uh, overcoming your fear and your worry right so we're moving into your C so C is all about visualizations so and again uh, the smell still comes in because smell also related to your breathing so we're gonna combine the smell and your C together right so shove your um, yoga blocks underneath your butter you can sit in this manner or you can sit cross-legged it's very much up to you right so elevate your hips area so that you are free from any um, stresses and tensions around your legs right so you can place your palms uh, on your thighs and lift your chest up elongate your body pull back your shoulders and then very gently just close your eyes and look inside the body so it's like you're seeing visualizing your body 
connect into your body Just stay quiet for that moment Now let's move into your smell So with the aroma and the essential oil You're going to feel that that really helps you to concentrate and focus And relax, calm down your nerves, your inner self And stay focused onto your breathing now as you close your eyes, you don't have to worry about what you're going to do next All you need to do is just try to remain as quiet as possible Very highly, our mind will always be wandering and wondering W-O-W-A And this is the part where you have to refocus back, reconnect into your inner self So what's the next response in your body? Of course, when you reconnect into your inner cell, it will definitely be your breathing. So when that happens, don't resist it. Take a very small, gentle breath. Breathe in slowly, honor your breath. You don't have to worry about how deep, how long is your breath. All you need to do is just breathe in and out. Now when the body decides to go slightly deeper into your breath, go ahead and honour that. Let's take a deep breath. Breathe in slowly, expand into your chest. Expand into your ribs. And expand into the abdomen. Once you find your torso is very full, gently allow your shoulders to relax. Visualizing your shoulders softening out, chest relax, ribs relax, abdomen relax, and visualizing your buttock getting heavy, melting down, connecting into the yoga block. Take one more deep breath as you inhale, fully expand into your chest now. And if you find that the ribs tends to open, spread out, go ahead and honor that and allow your lower abdomen to fully expand out once you find that you have fully in here observe the depth of your breath and gently exhale it out again with the help of your smell breathe in and smell your lemon glass or any flavors that you like and as you exhale slowly just try to relax your chest your ribs your abdomen and again when your thoughts are running wild quickly bring your thoughts back into your breath and continue to communicate with your breath so in here very slowly and gently fully expand into your chest and do not resist your thoughts just let your thoughts come and go so and never ever dwell with your thoughts yeah so sometimes the thoughts might remain there you may want to just quickly refocus back into your breath and sometimes I use finger counting so in here as you extend your fingers one at a time by the time you finish the end of the 10th finger you should be fully in here as you exhale close up your finger one at a time by the time you finish closing up the finger you should be fully exhale this technique will help you to overcome your fear and also uh, relax your nerves and calm down your body so you know when little kids have fear they will run to their mother and they will just cuddle themselves uh, over at their mom's laps this is exactly what we adults are doing you know and uh, we don't have mom to cuddle you know so you can always have a poster to cuddle so another stance that you may want to explore will be hearing put some soothing music 
we encourage a BPM of 50 beat per minute, you know, so the, the, the beat per minute will help you to really slow down and calm down your heart rate. So sit on your bolsters, all right, and then come down into your kneeling position, assuming this is your pillow. So come down and rest your chest on top of your bolsters, all right, and then rest your forehead onto the pillow. Okay, and then gently just relax your both arms by having your palms facing upward relax and collapse your shoulders down so in these positions it really helps you to relax your frontal lobes of your brain and then just relax your third eye your forehead so that will help you to reduce your tensions around your migraine and this is a very nice cushioning because you know it really helps you to wrap out your body into a forward bending child fetus position so that you can feel a huge sense of security and you can feel that uh, you are very comfortable cushion it and then there is a shield of protections from your back into your heart so it's like your heart protections so you can breathe, you apply your sense of your smell, a sense of your hearing by playing some soothing music. And then just apply your sense of relaxation by drawing your forehead towards your front brain. And then relax it here. So once you're done, relax your hands and gently sit up from here. So I hope you enjoyed the sessions and try and overcome any fears that might come across and also whenever you're worried, how do you overcome this worry through centering? This is the best way you know, for you to just reconnect into your breath reconnect into yourself and continue to stay aware and remain calm and reduce your anxiety.